Hello again. So I've designed this next episode to really help you shine on stage and confront your public speaking and presentation skills. Because did you know that this is one of people's biggest fears in the workplace? To speak up, own their voice, and really conquer their presentation skills and abilities. So let me give you the tactics and the tools to help you overcome this and really tune into becoming an incredible communicator when it comes to your presentations, because we all know how important they are when it comes to doing things well at work. So let's begin. Now our first tool is all about using positive cognitive visualization to help you know how to tune in to how you want to present things. And you do this in two ways, by tuning into how the audience is responding to you energetically and the energy you're giving to them, but most importantly, connecting to the intention of what you want your audience to feel and the outcome you want them to take away from your presentation. By having this clear in your mind, you'll then have a goal that gives your mind the right job to do so you don't focus on the communication anxiety that comes with presenting. Another thing is to constantly visualize the stage, the scenario, as many times as you can to get your body familiar with it so when you step on the stage, in the room, or in front of your team or boss, you are in your element. Now this is a starting point in order to overcome all communication anxiety for your presentations. So this is where we started. Now, once you've worked with your positive visualizations, the second part is to over-prepare the content. And when I say over-prepare, to the point that you can ultimately access it through your subconscious. You know what you're saying, you know what you're talking about, and you've trained that energy as well as the focus in your mind to know what you're trying to convey to your audience. Over-preparation is key here for anybody who really wants to master their presentations. And you over-prepare by really knowing your content inside out and practicing it as many times as you can for you to feel so familiar with it that it almost feels like a second language. So over-prepare, over-prepare, and over-prepare. Now our third toolkit is all about training presentation confidence. So how do we do this efficiently and effectively? We basically have to focus on our breathing. And we do this before, during, and after to recalibrate our nervous system. Deep connected breaths during the way that you speak and also pacing your voice and the way that you're communicating will give you this power. By doing that, you'll feel more in control of your emotional state and more grounded. You can also use your feet and channel energy into your feet to ground the energy and the nervous energy that's also making you feel a little bit stuck or stagnant when it comes to the way that you present. But understand that you are a vessel of communication and the most important thing you wanna convey is your message to your audience. And that is the focus for how you do your presentations and what makes you a powerful communicator. And for our last but not least toolkit for today, we're gonna to talk about establishing a dialogue with your audience because you have to remind yourself, your presentation isn't just about you, it's also about them. So ask questions, involve them in the narrative and get them engaged in what you're trying to say and also get to know a little bit more about what they think. Create an open conversation when you're presenting to also make it feel a little bit more fluid and that's about you versus them. This will give you the confidence and also make you feel supported by your peers, depending on the type of presentation, obviously. But this is definitely something to prioritize when it comes to the way that you prepare your presentations and combine it with all the other toolkits we've just covered. It's now time to wrap up our journey in confronting presentation fears. I hope you found value in learning and combining these toolkits to help you establish the best form of communication when it comes to the way you present to your peers, your colleagues, your bosses, and even yourself. Know that this is a work in progress and doesn't happen overnight, but it's so important to conquer the way that you present yourself to the world. So we hope you find joy in the process as well. Please tune in to Cognitive Fit's Wellbeing platform if you want access to more toolkits and more content that will help you access your ultimate power as a communicator, but also to just give you those tools for work-life balance in general. See you very soon. I'm your coach, Christina Lopez, and take care.